In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the fuel tank straps on your Toyota Camry. Let's get started. Using a 14 millimeter wrench to hold the head of the bolt, and you use a 14 millimeter wrench to remove the nut. The head of the bolt is rounded off, so I'm using a pair of locking pliers to hold the head of the bolt. We're going to go through and remove all of the hangers for the exhaust pipe, and we're going to move this out of the way to drop the tank. This first hanger is right up front by the bolts we took off, and then sliding down, The next one should be right here. Our hanger broke off the exhaust, so we'll just be able to remove this and it will take this tang out. If you're able to remove your muffler bolts and get a new gasket, you could just take out this middle section and leave the muffler in place. Our muffler is not connected. There should be three rubber hangers for the muffler. They'll go on these three hooks. You can remove the whole system as one, and just put it out of the way and then put it up after. Ours is going to come out in pieces. Using a pair of pliers, we're going to remove the rubber hanger. Now we're going to remove the exhaust, remove the nut and one bolt for the e-brake cable. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove the nut the cable off of the stud. 10 millimeter bolt is located right next to the trailing arm. Go ahead and remove that. We're going to pull this cable down and out of the way. And then we'll go to the other side and do the same thing. We're going to go around the tank removing the four 10 millimeter bolts for the heat shield. There is also two push clips, one on this side and one on the other. Right here, our heat shield is broken, so we're not going to mess with this bolt. So we'll move to the next one on the corner. To remove these clips, you're going to take a pair of pliers and squeeze the plastic. And as you squeeze the plastic, you're going to push up. You're also going to pull down and release the clip. And then we'll go do the same thing on the other side with the, all of the clips and all of the bolts removed. Remove the heat shield. Install the jack under your fuel tank. Using a 14 millimeter socket on a long extension, we're going to remove the strap bolts. Remove the bolt. Do the same thing on the other side. We're going to pull down on the tank straps. Do the same thing on the other side. This rubber can get stuck to the tank. Just peel it away. We're going to lift up on the strap and you're going to see a pin inside of this bracket. I'm going to use a right angle pick to push that pin out. Just like that. And then you can remove the strap. Do the same thing on the other side. Remove the rubber coating on the old straps. Swap them over to the new ones. These two ribs are going to hold onto the sides and we'll just slide it over. Do the same thing on the other one. 
and then they're ready to go into the car. Install the strap into the bracket over the e-brake cable. I'm gonna use a magnet to help me install the pin. Stick the pin to the end of the magnet. Line it up in the bracket. Push it in. Make sure it's fully seated. Just like that. And do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna install the bolt into the strap and I'm gonna be using two long extensions. Then we're gonna wrap the strap around the tank push it up towards the mounting hole, and it will get the bolt started. Do the same thing on the other side. Torque the tank strap bolts to 29 foot-pounds. Remove the jack from under the gas tank. We're gonna install the heat shield. There should be four bolts for this. Ours will only have two. There will be two more plastic clips that'll clip into these middle holes. When we put this up, we're gonna shoot to put on these plastic clips first. That'll hold it up there for us. And then we'll go around and put our bolts in. Push the heat shield up and over the plastic clip and they'll hold it there for you. Install the bolts. Install the exhaust into the vehicle. I'm gonna get the rear hanger started first. I'm using a pole jack as just a second set of hands. And we'll get our front hanger started. Hang it on there. And it'll just hang there by itself. Install the gasket onto the back of the front pipe. Pull your other exhaust pipe up to meet. Get the bolts lined up and get the nuts started on the back. In my case, I'm gonna be using a 13 millimeter wrench to hold the head of the bolt and a 12 millimeter wrench to tighten the nut. Do the same thing on the other side, going back and forth, making sure it's seating square. Once you're done, go ahead and remove the jack. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.